Boeing shares uh, have been plunging, losing about 70 percent of their value over the past month, even amid talk uh, of a bailout. Phil LeBeau joins us now with more. Hey, Phil. Hey, Joe, the question is, will that bailout ultimately go through? Most believe that it will. We've heard from Eamon Javers earlier today. And then the question becomes, how quickly does everything get passed? And then how quickly does that money go out to Boeing, which by extension, we should point out, then goes to aviation suppliers. I've had a number of people say, well, Boeing shouldn't get $60 billion. No, the $60 billion is not going exclusively to Boeing. It is going to be also uh, doled out, if you will, to a number of suppliers in the aerospace uh, ecosystem. And that's the whole idea here is that you want to keep that from collapsing right now. The primary focus for the executives at Boeing right now is that aid package, as well as getting some sense of what will happen with deliveries once we start to see the coronavirus impact fade globally. And I know that's an open-ended question, guys. It may be months down the road before we see that happen. Yesterday, CEO Dave Calhoun had a conference call with executives and leaders within Boeing, and he essentially reassured them that the company outlook is one that they can all get behind, that the game plan that they have laid out is one that they believe in, in terms of, look, we know right now we're not building the max, but we believe by the middle of the year it'll be ungrounded. Deliveries will start perhaps in the end of the third quarter, the fourth quarter, that there is a path that Boeing is pursuing here. This is not simply a case of them saying to the government, give us the money, give us the money, give us the money. And then finally, Boeing is on track for its worst month ever. I know a lot of people have looked at this and they've said, how much is it down? 67 percent, something like that, uh, depending on where you take uh, the measurement of the uh, shares on that particular day. Yesterday was down 90, down to $90 a share, Joe. I think this was a stock that was looking at being down almost 70 percent in the last month. So while they're not out of the woods, uh, they do believe that the path forward is contingent on this $60 billion, almost being a bridge, if you will. And then the question becomes, what happens with deliveries? Right. Unbelievable, isn't it? The, the max and then this, Phil. I, I mean, that's like... Yeah, Joe, and, and the delivery question is an open-ended one and a scary one from this perspective. Um, there are some estimates that every month that you see deferrals from airlines for taking delivery of aircraft, it could cost the company up to $4.3 billion. Now, they've got enough liquidity near term. The question becomes, does that $60 billion, is that enough of a bridge for when we believe that things should improve for the airline industry? And as you guys have been talking about, yeah, nobody has any confidence in that right now.